Hey, it's Jake Mace with LearnFromJake.com. I'm in Madrid, Spain. It's super early morning, and I got this morning to do a workout, which always involves working out, which leads into a nice Qigong and Tai Chi exercise. Working out in the morning for me begins with a nice hard workout to get my muscles, blood, and lungs going, and then it transitions into a beautiful Qigong workout that I love to complete every morning. I got up this morning and ran to this park, the Parque del Retiro, and everybody's here working out, doing some kayaking, doing all kinds of recreational things. I even saw some Qigong. This park is beautiful and I love choosing parks when I'm traveling to do my morning workouts in. There's a Chinese doctor you all should know called Hua Toa, and Hua Toa lived thousands of years ago. He's a very famous doctor in Chinese history, and he is linked with what's on my shirt, these five elements of Chinese medicine. Water, fire, earth, metal and wood. Hua Toa has many legends behind his story, but one thing he did was create a style of Qigong called the Five Animal Play. And each one of these elements has an animal attached to it. So for water, we had the tiger and fire, the crane. And for earth, we had the monkey, for metal, the deer, and for wood, the bear. I'm in the middle of my workout, about to transition to my Qigong for this morning, but I wanted to show you guys in YouTube land one movement, one Qigong movement from each of these elements one movement from each of the animals so that you can practice your own at home. There's hundreds of movements of the Hua Toa series and I want to get you guys started with this area of Qigong today. So get up, get safe, get ready and learn these five movements and then practice them every morning because you know that I'll be up somewhere in some park in some city in the world practicing them as well. You guys can get this shirt from learnfromjake.com. You can also join my blog at learnfromjake.com. But let's get started with the Qigong postures now. Our next animal is the red one here, fire, which associates itself with the crane. And the crane's gonna try to lift its energy up into the solar plexus, up higher in the body. And we're gonna work on balance. Crane also works the back muscles. So we're gonna have the hands kind of like this. I want you guys to match me right now. Take your hands and push the wrist here by the outer fifth metacarpal, this part of the wrist here. Push that part of the wrist out, 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 okay? And I want you to have the hands up shoulder height. Then I want you to make a circle in your arms. See, I'm making a circle here. I'm gonna pull my wing muscles back together, pinching my wing muscles together. Again, like I'm simulating a lat pull down movement in the gym if I was lifting weights. So I'm gonna pulse, pulse, flex, flex, flex. Opening up the heart and the solar plexus working my wings and then we're going to add in some balance to this posture and the crane breathes the opposite of the bear so the bear was focusing its attention on the dan tian the lower stomach below the navel <sighs> very centered down here the crane is focusing its energy on the dan jung the solar plexus getting its energy up here so we're going to have to pulse with an inhale the opposite breathing of the bear. So breathe out right now with me. Breathe in six times. Breathe out. Breathe in six times. Okay, we do all this with a balance leg hold. Let's get started the few repetitions with the full body. I don't know if you guys can feel it, but I can feel it. 
the conditioning and the muscle fatigue in my back. This training is hard qigong. It should make you feel like you just did a lot of reps of weightlifting at the gym. You should get your oxygen going and it's working parts of the body that are most applicable to human posture and human longevity. So it's training us to be creatures of longevity. Let's go to the next animal.